Hey everybody, it's the Chris and Des show. Sorry, I didn't know if it started out. Uh, <laughs> and I'm Chris. And I'm Des. And today we're going to talk to you about the new Spike Lee film, Black Klansman. Des, what did you think? Um, here's the thing. This is, I well, it was interesting. It was an interesting movie. The premise is that this, uh, was it Colorado Springs? Where are they? Denver? They're in Colorado somewhere. They're in Colorado. They're in the state. The state of it. They, you don't know I the can't city? remember the name. Colorado Springs. Yes, oh, Hey, look at me. Okay, so this is the first uh, black guy who is a policeman now on the Colorado Springs mm -hmm. police force. And what he does is, I don't, I forget how he got to this point, but he decides to uh, call up the KKK. There's a newspaper ad. Oh, there join. was a newspaper ad, to and join. so he sees the ad, and so he calls up to talk to the guy and join the KKK and just kind of figure out what's going on in there. And so he gets he gets a membership, and he does all the things, and so it's all this, and then so he has to get a, a white guy to go be him after he's talked to. It's very interesting, and it all unfolds. It wasn't, I, I don't know. It's one of those, again, those heavy movies with a pretty serious subject matter. And Spike Lee, you know, he's he's poking all the time mm -hmm. with uh, politics and all kinds of stuff, making all sorts of comparisons to present day, absolutely, which is founded. I mean, I think it's very uh, timely, mm -hmm. for sure. The last uh, five, ten minutes of it are just blow your mind apart. And I don't want to ruin it for you if you go see this movie, but it will blow your mind apart after seeing all of this history of the KKK. And it's based on true stuff. I don't know that it's word for word true or anything yeah. like that, but it's it's what actually kind of has happened. But the it's crazy. The very end is crazy. So I'd go see it just for that part. It's just well directed. Spike Lee. He He's has he has yeah. his own thing. It's definitely Spike Lee, but it's it's interesting. I I would recommend seeing it. What do you think? Yeah, I think I would have liked it more. In my mind, for some weird reason, I thought that it was going to be like a real comedy. Oh. And so it would be like fast paced and like maybe making jokes, making jokes, making jokes, and that's not because I mean, that's kind of how the trailer is. Like, yeah, the they trailer, show the jokes. Yeah, you're right. The trailer does. Look and so that's just what I would say to everyone. Don't go in with that mindset. It's much more heavy yeah, than it no. is funny. I go with Spike Lee. It's a Spike Lee. Movie. It is a Spike Lee. That's film. what I. That's what I went in. I got what I expected. I don't even think it's his like funniest film. No. I think it's, I don't associate Spike Lee with being funny. No, I don't. But okay. the trailer made it look like it was yeah, funny. It did. It did. Uh, and even the idea of Black Klansman is like funny that this black guy is going to be <laughs> in the KKK, right? right. Um, and so it was, it's obviously well directed and the acting's really good. I love John David Washington. I love him on Ballers. I love Ballers. You should watch it on HBO. Uh, and he's a very good actor like his daddy is, Denzel, right? Obviously when you come from that kind of stock of acting, then you're going to be a good actor probably. probably. Uh, and then Adam Driver's really good as then yeah, the white guy, great. Flip, no, who not. plays him, who is also Jewish and as you know, the KKK, um, surprisingly, is no, racist towards much. Jewish people also. <laughs> um, and then uh, Topher Grace is David Duke, the head of the KKK at that time, and uh, he's a bad person. Uh, but he's a good actor, though I'm going to be wrong about that. Uh, and I was going to say, there's someone else too who I thought was really good, and now my brain is not working. And then the girl, Laura a Harrier, who plays Patrice, the girl that he likes as well too, is really good. Like She's like a black activist and she doesn't like the police because the police might have been a tiny bit racist back then a tiny bit or a lot um and then she doesn't know he is a policeman yeah that's trauma right. of that's that right. too yeah. uh so it's well acted it's well written it's well directed but the pacing is there are times when you are watching him walk yeah. somewhere yeah. For a long time, you're watching for them. Uh, and so it just is a little slower pacing, and it's not a comedy. That's what I would say to everyone. Right. You, If you like Spike Lee, you'll like this movie, for sure. And it's interesting on a historical it thing, is. like, this really Absolutely. happened. For sure. And he definitely connects it to present day. Okay. Uh, well, he, d he connects it well. Well, to present day, yes. yes. And it's not even like, I wonder if he's, no, you no, know exactly clear. what it's he's trying to do, clear. believe me. Yes. Um, so with that being said, if 
you don't think that sounds like a movie that you would like, don't go see it. If no. you think it does sound like a movie you'd like, you should go see it okay. because it's a well-made movie of that kind. I think that was... Well said. Thank you. Well stated. Uh, that's what we thought. Uh, I, I enjoyed it too. Sorry, yeah. I just ran somewhere. No, I enjoyed it okay. too. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.